<clears throat> In silence. After you started recording. <laughs> oh, look, I'm you getting were... ready, all right? I'm the one that has to do all the intros. I mean, do you want to do the intro? Uh, welcome to the new Maxa reaction. Oh, my Doom God. Doom Eternal Review. Oh, gaming edition. <laughs> this one I kind of picked out because I am a big fan of the game. Uh, Kiwi, however, <laughs> knows nothing about game history at all. And so whenever we saw any kind of like reference to Doom in any sort of anime, Kiwi would be like, Oh, Minecraft. <laughs> and me and Servi would just shake our heads. Hopefully in this video... Sorry. Kiwi's going to learn about what Doom is from Max Sor. There is a playlist linked in the top right corner if you want to watch any of our other Max Sor reactions. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Wait, I have to go wash my eyes. I had salty fingers and I brushed them all over my eyes and now they sting a bit. Okay. I swear to God, if you throw me into that portal, I will fuck you. You were never one of us. Yeah, my hot team and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sus behavior. Truly, I think it's the red. Doom Eternal is a game with so much testosterone dripping from its orifices oh, that I'm not used to create a, a new sun biomitosis in this adventure. You play as John Doom. The what? I'm not used to a new voice actor being in the video. <laughs> What do you mean that's Maxor? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Kiwi? I've never watched Maxor videos, okay? I did not know that Maxor actually voices his own videos sometimes. What? He's been voicing his own video this entire time! <laughs> no, he has not! Yes, there he has! has. Been a voice actor! A man stricken with irrationally severe autism who does not consider or think through his actions and effects on other people. And in his quest to save <laughs> mankind, kills God, this is God, true. God, and Satan, yes. God, God, who is also himself, if this in depth and engaging <laughs> hardcore male gameplay sounds appealing, oh, then I've got the game for you. This game is, of course, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Doom 2016 with a few key differences. All right, then, buddy, I'm going to shit yourself. Which meaningfully extends and builds off of the gameplay and challenges that we love, then extends them some more off of a fucking cliff until the product that emerges out the other side resembles crack concentrate. If you're watching this, I'm sure you've probably played the game since I don't actually want to help people buy things. I'm here to entertain people, and if you're clamoring for entertainment and haven't purchased this game yet, do yourself a favor. There's enough male hormones here to transition someone, and I can guarantee you results, my fellow Sigma males. So whether you're Sigma a male. Like me or new to modern Doom games. Come with me on this amazing journey through Twitch gameplay, beautiful environments, nonsensically fucked up lore, and remixed Mongolian throat singing. For money is temporary, but Doom is eternal. The music is like one of the best I would say that soundtracks I've ever heard in game. Unique and not I don't think it's your kind of music. Everything but... in Doom Eternal no. is funneled directly into a single, robust, multifaceted, multinational, oh, no, and unilaterally combat system from which the entire game head. is built around. But Maxor, <laughs> I hear you thinking, that's every game ever. Yes every good game ever. If I, for instance, became 12 and booted up GTA 5, I would be able to do at least a dozen unfun activities. Doom's design is focused harder than the average Persona fan on his local playground. And that is special. You will play the game. No. <laughs> Kiwi getting called no. out. <laughs> I mean, I guess I suppose I'm also a Persona fan, but I'm just getting into the series. Really excited for P3, though. <laughs> but we gotta get through P5 first. Oh god. <laughs> That's another three years of content, don't worry. Three years, yeah. In the way that is fun, or you will lose. So as good as 2016 was, a Polygon journalist could beat the first half, and that's unacceptable. Oh, that was because, so yes, hard to watch. Because it is actually unfun to play games after having a lobotomy. In other games... So yeah, ba oh, look at this is a nice pause. <laughs> but yeah, basically that footage I believe was from one of the game journalists who was uh, reviewing the game, and uh, oh my god, <laughs> like they couldn't even aim their gun properly. 
It was just sad. It's like me and Weller. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, Kiwi, you're better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you are complimenting me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Because I get to choose between things like stealth, vehicles, or outright combat. Yet Doom Eternal asks the question, why not force you to use every mechanic all the time without stopping? Yes. In a world where AAA studios try to pander to everyone, it's refreshing to have a game that sets out to do one thing the best, and actually have developers who give a shit about linear design and gameplay. And the main component of that gameplay is yeah, the, the arsenal, because John Doom, Doom games uses every weapon throughout the game. The first I haven't played Eternal yet, though. The last level, and the last level is it feels kind of weird. Shotgun. That when it, you get the an game upgrade, it isn't a is receiving praise. You should probably pause. Yeah, the game, uh, the game is receiving praise, and I just see like people getting played by sharp objects through their mouth. That's <laughs> in the footage. <laughs> it feels kind of weird to listen to that with that visuals. <laughs> Which is when I heard Doom. As somebody who has no prior knowledge of it, I just imagine that the game would feel like Doom. You know, like the Dark Souls type of game that makes you feel really frustrated while you were playing it. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Doom is a game about a, a power fantasy. You are not trapped in hell with demons. Demons are trapped in hell with you. That's what it means <laughs> to be a Doom guy. Oh, well, see. So, just the main character of Doom is just basically Nye from Trig. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a weird comparison. Doom guy is a, a special breed. He is a, oh, no he is a man. No guy is scary, though. <laughs> Oh my god, Kiwi. You know how many people you just offended with that comparison? Oh my god. I'm just joking. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Legally, it's just a joke, okay? It's a genuine addition to your arsenal. Every one of them has specific uses, and yet these don't interfere at all. They enhance. How do I kill an enemy? Well, shoot his hands off. Fire a rocket. Fire a ballista. Fire flame. Freeze him. Fire fire on his freezing pro shotgun. <laughs> shotgun. Brain aneurysm. <laughs> just as important as how you kill is how you heal and how you restore. Fortunately, the aggression of this game rivals my dog in a kindergarten. Like real life, oh, the no. way to get ahead of the competition is to kill them. How do I heal yes. them? Yes, this is them. true. How do I get ammo back? Back, kill them with a chainsaw. In addition, mm -hmm. most weapons in the game have two mods which completely change their behavior. Such stunning examples would be the microwave beam, the automatic shotgun, and the fucking destroyer blade. God, that shit's cool. But on top of eight weapons, 12 mods, and a declining mental state, we keep going. More than any one weapon, you'll be using your suit abilities, and they all have individual buttons. This is in addition to the eight that you use for weapons. These would be things like zoom oh for fast, goodness. grenade for death, Swedish grenade for life, die. punch. There is a lot going on. It, it's no. a, it's an arena shooter, so like, yeah, you're in there with a bunch of demons popping out everywhere, shooting bullets at you. You constantly gotta be on the move. <laughs> it's very different from uh, from your experience playing Valorant. Yeah, it's a completely yeah, different game. I also, I also struggle with Zelda. I, I think so. that's just a skill issue, Kiwi. <laughs> for no reason. And a flamethrower for armor. I play Invoker in Dota 2, and this shit makes me play my keyboard like it's a fucking Moonlight Sonata. I thoroughly recommend playing PC and never using the weapon wheel for maximal Ritalin output. And if you can't switch weapons fast or play on easy mode, that's fine, man. We're all busy. How about I give you two more buttons? <laughs> you thought I was done. There's two ways to do it. It's okay, Kiwi. You can play this game the fun way or no, the funny look, way. I have basically small hands. That's my excuse. My hands are so small that I will need the kid control, kid pro controller for the Switch <laughs> if I want to play anything more complicated than Fire Emblem. As the funniness level, we have the Crucible, which is a direct, Funny. instantaneous kill on every enemy. Giant area boss, dead. Previous area boss, dead. The final boss, fuck him. Now I hear you thinking, Josh, that sounds pretty strong. Oh boy, buckle your ass. Because the second super BFG weapon on my extensive time. list of two things is the BFG, which canonically stands for big fucking gun. Also canonically, this is it true. fires a hole directly into the core of Mars. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. <laughs> now I can Stop kill now. him in a long way, or I can kill him and his dog faster than the ATF at Waco. It clears out everything you can see <laughs> instantly. I am so thankful the game you. limits how many times you can do this. Now, I understand that at first this may seem complicated, but that just isn't true because the entire game is effectively a tutorial for hard mode. And because you're always learning as you play, it never feels stale. Doom even lets you choose what stats and runes to upgrade. I spec entirely into mobility and ammo, making my character a flimsy, crack-addled spider monkey. As a side note, we should release dozens or possibly hundreds of macaques into New York City. They can survive there. Why does Thailand get to keep all of the good monkeys? So what-
<laughs> it's because Thailand is amazing. And you should visit us here. <laughs> I will not. I'm going to die. <laughs> More is there to learn about Doom Eternal. Well, have you ever given thought to the various unwashed baboons that I'm fighting? The answer may shock you. Those are the... As you may have guessed, there are at least three, perhaps four demons in the game, which is a lot yeah, maybe. for someone who is a small, blonde anime lolly such as myself. But it's the variety of the demons that, <laughs> that make the game that interesting. Joke. Demons can fly. Yes, they can I roll around like... And it went into my nose. The long line would. <laughs> me to love <laughs> contract obesity and be bastards. Who is Sandy Bo? <laughs> Who is Tsushima? <laughs> Amy Rose? I didn't know she could stand. The point of the entire <laughs> game, therefore, is to balance targets, switch weapons, and scream internally as you repeatedly fail to be cool. Just like high school. What I'm getting at is every demon has completely different behavior and goals from one another. The Doom Hunter rolls around in a comically small tank. The zombies, like us, exist to die. And the Marauder produces controversy. He does a lot of damage. <laughs> your attacks, fights you at wild speeds, and can only be attacked after yeah a lot of people so. didn't like him have no issue and many did find the challenge so. fun and engaging and if you don't i'm not saying you're wrong i'm saying you're bad i'm not getting into the details for each one since <laughs> that's not funny but don't worry there are 27 of them without dlc and if you're wondering why i'm fighting the entire cast of dante's inferno you're actually the minority this game tries at every moment to make exposition collectible why is there just a, a fucking big spear in the planet and why is heaven comprised entirely of moth people. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> moth people! It feels like one guy wrote the events of the game and another guy invented <laughs> LSD just right to write the backstory. So I'm that. going to combine both of them into a single, accurate interpretation of the Doom lore. If I say something objectionable, just pretend that it's right. <laughs> Also, before we get into the lore part, uh, yeah, so basically all the demons are also kind of aliens, so yes. maybe that might interest I'm you. Gonna play Doom. <laughs> I'm gonna play Doom. I'm, I'm looking at it on, at Steam as we speak. Oh my aliens. god. Aliens. Let's go. One Brazilian oh. years ago, there was a guy named The Dad oh, who was effectively expensive? God and he made moths Never in mind. Land Heaven it's called The Makers. Expensive. Every 10,000 years, all <laughs> moths combine their collective consciousness into one giga moth called The Con Maker, who is the moth. That was a pretty so good doge. Rule over the galaxy, sort of, until Earth what? happens, and then we start fucking everything <laughs> up. The moth called finds John Doom after a spree of murders, and he explains to her that yes, hell exists. It's weird that humans knew about hell before God. Anyways, the moth pope, Kinda after weird, finding yeah. out that hell is real, very reasonably decides to sacrifice a planet to it. See, it turns Obviously. out that God literally pieced the fuck out like 10 million years ago and let the moths <laughs> do whatever they wanted. So now the con maker cannot be replaced and cannot die. So she sort of goes insane from the constant immortality. Now the plan Please is to get some of that sweet hell. <laughs> energy by repeatedly sacrificing entire planets to the Dark Lord in exchange for it. Meanwhile, a sentient robot named Samuel Hayden is very busy on Mars. Earth has this problem called climate change, and we need to find a new energy source. So instead of something hard and difficult like solar power, Samuel Hayden is like, what yeah, if we extract who this would do cool that? blue energy from hell? Also, it's on Mars. Earth does this until hell begins to into me. Mars and John Doom stops that, which is the plot of Doom 2016. This makes Samuel Journalism. Hayden mad because he's funded by the Koch brothers and really doesn't want to build a windmill. So instead of destroying the demonic crucible, he just brings it back to Earth and catapults John Doom into the backstory planet. If you think that sounds unreasonable, just remember that we considered blotting out the sun before building a fucking solar panel. I only poo-poo farted for the good of you. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, demons invade to recycle Earth into blue energy uh -oh, for the moth so John Doom has to fight both Catholics and hell. And as you go through the game, you might notice that it just brings up random shit at will. Like, oh sorry, the soul factory is being held there by two gigantic titans, and it's like, okay, I guess Attack on Titan is mm, real yummy. now. Doom Slayer, you'll need this knife to kill my son. Oh shit, what'd he do? He's the giant uncontrollable demon titan. The plot of the main game, to understate it, is psychotic, and acts as an increasing checklist of galactically convoluted tasks. Just in this one game, John Doom finds an ancient city like three times, goes to the North Pole to kill <laughs> yeah, Santa, it's, it's fights crazy. Croatia, does a little trolling, yeah, does a well, little I'm sorry, Kiri, he's going to Croatia. heaven and permanently kills God, but we'll get back to that. Doom 2016 took place on Mars, <laughs> but this game has you slung around the universe on a fucking bungee cord, so I understand completely when people say they don't play Doom Eternal for the plot. They're just wrong. I play Doom Eternal for the plot, and that might sound strange to you, but Eternal's plot 
plot is pure insanity, and it does everything that it needs to. We are painfully aware that the plot exists as a contrivance because the environmental designer went fucking ballistic. I just don't <laughs> care. I played every single level, gleefully wondering, oh boy, what stupid shit is next? I cannot fucking wait. So play the game for the plot. It is integral to the experience of Doom Eternal. Oh, but Max, or there's a plot hole. How did the Doom Slayer get the first? Everything I've said so far, except some of it, applies yeah, in up. full partially to the base as game. As long as but it's there's fun. There's forty dollar reviews of DLC where the game plays Doesn't faster, matter. the challenge harder, and the plot somehow the even fucking holes. worse in all the right departments. 2016 was a wash. Eternal is Usain Bolt, and the ancient gods is fucking Venezuelan inflation. You thought it was no. over when John Doom beat the demons and destroyed all of heaven, but you were wrong. That's just the beginning. And with both parts of the DLC now fully out, my recommendation cannot be understated. Let's get into why, and more importantly, what. <laughs> we'll never know what. <laughs> we never this know section what. of the video is going to be different, far more structural, and aligned with the plot of the DLC. Because oh, the gameplay whoa. isn't what's new about the product, it's the challenge and the story. I originally wrote an entire <laughs> script for this and then trashed it because it doesn't truly communicate how this DLC drove me to insanity and I hard cope by simping for 2D women. I will tell you if there's Same. a big gameplay change, but the point of the DLC is more of what's amazing. If you like Doom Eternal, you will like the DLC. Feels like Key and and crack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a comparison to make. <laughs> okay, so Samuel Hayden, you might know him for his various appearances on political YouTube debates advocating for carbon positivity. It turns out that he's not a robot. He's a fucking angel. Also, John Doom's Alexa is God. That's not a joke or exaggeration. His name is Vega, and he's the physical remnant of God's consciousness in AI form. So Samuel, now a fucking yeah, divine pretty being, crazy. wants you to revive him since both God and Satan are trapped in volleyballs. At this point, the video can't count as spoilers because it makes no fucking sense. The first DLC is essentially <laughs> true because you kill God. Why? Well, obviously to revive Satan exclusively yeah. so you can fight him. What could go wrong? One particular <laughs> note here on the gameplay side is the final boss, Big who brain. is Samuel Hayden. Because holy shit, this fight is hard. <laughs> We're also, just in fan. My enjoyment of the game, game is worth fighting them Every aspect of this is <laughs> fun, and everything else I've already said about the game in general. And when you finally beat Samuel and revive the Dark Lord, it turns out he's you. Yeah. The only thing in the world that could possibly kill John Doom himself. <laughs> no blood can be seen. <laughs> this holy blood. He doesn't care. <laughs> so now the not you you decides to go to hell where we all belong, and the second DLC is yes, just changing him. This is of course where the testosterone moves into critical levels. How does one get to the capital city of hell? Well, that's a great question. First of all, go to the planet of Argentinur, light the bat signal, learn how to train your dragon, okay? Go into mm -hmm. the giant sphere that pierces the entire planet for some reason, get the key to the gate of Divum. Now go back to Earth, traverse the last of us two, and find the gate of Divum. But before I get to the final showdown with Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity, there's some cool gameplay I want to talk about. You have a fucking hammer in this DLC, primarily used to defy the laws of gravity, but secondarily gives you everything in the game. Health? No problem. Ammo? Absolutely. My deepest, darkest urges? Yes. At <laughs> Official Max Word Watame collab when? I'm so waiting. It's been so long. Come on, guys. <laughs> As I used this, I became more obsessed with hammers than Bob the fucking Builder. And there's plenty of demons to use it on, since the DLC adds a shitload of reskins. For instance, the Spirit is a congealed amphetamine mass that makes every infested target three times faster. Microsoft Pinball, who is fun to fight, I promise. And the Bloodsmakers, <laughs> they are my original OC. Do not oh, steal there's it. Got you so in the background, I never England, noticed. It's time for the DLC to gain style. <laughs> this is the culmination of all of our work. The final battle against Satan himself and hold Holy shit, you can feel it. When the Sentinel army shows up and everyone's ready to kick ass, you just can't help but feel like your dick is being tickled. Cleveland lives up to the hype too. <laughs> so cool, it's man. a non-stop battle of epic proportions right up until the final boss. This is a universe which implicitly acknowledges your godlike power by making the only credible threat to you your identical twin with red eyes in a Gundam. That is called fucking gameplay. And it's a beautiful send-off right up until the man himself who awkwardly in walks around the arena like a penguin. But that's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, he is in a Gundam. Them. 
Wow, you know, it's so sad that Steve Jobs died of Ligma. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? <laughs> Ligma balls. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Now, oh. before we can finish this, there's a few details I want to talk about that truly complete this game. Make it a real 10 out of good. Firstly, I would classify the music of this game as metal without guitars, and I fucking dig it so much. How do you make metal without a guitar? Well, you sample Mongolian throat singing and your lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> It Nick just was so not cool. Normally, this. music isn't very important, but it's so good that it becomes important. And the role it plays in setting your mood is vital. Also, the main composer, Mick Gordon, like me, hey watches virtual YouTubers every waking second. <laughs> <laughs> this is not edited, by the way. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Make us awesome, man. End of his day. Great minds think alike. In fact, most of the music in this video is just Doom Eternal soundtrack. Guess you'll have to rewatch it over and over again to really listen. <laughs> Finally, oh. this game looks really good. Not the oh wow, look at all these particles I'm stroking out way. It's more like how does literally anyone have time to model all of the geometry in the game? It is unreal. It is so downright inspired that it makes you feel bad while playing it. Doom Eternal is such a fast and pulse-pounding game that it's like sprinting through the fucking loop. How am I supposed to appreciate the Mona Lisa when it looks like this? Should you buy the game? Yes, I am very biased. If speed That's and a action good point. is what you crave and you want to induce cardiac arrest early, this is your game. I would like to thank the Demonic Brother by funding this channel in exchange for their souls. If you would like to engage in love sacrifice on my behalf, you can head to my Patreon to learn more. Thank you all for watching, and of course, run, they're coming. <laughs> Oh man, Doom was such a fun game to play. Someday I, I need to go back and play Doom Eternal. Oh, what did you think, Yui? Uh, that was Doom. Aliens. <laughs> That's all you really care about. Aliens. There's just so many cool things about the game and so many great ideas. Kind of like uh, how you mentioned the music. The music kind of adapts to the action that you're doing so the more intense the action gets the more intense the music gets which that is why you would mentioned so... yeah, that would be so yeah anxiety it's basically like thing. really <laughs> really anime i would say in that kind of aspect like you just feel like such a badass when you're playing the game so the game that i should be playing to become a badass a true gamer like a sweaty true gamer is doom eternal i would say true sure gamer that in mind. but not a sweaty true gamer no you're gonna be one of the the chad gamers uh, i think everybody <laughs> should uh, at least try out doom maybe one day in the future i would <laughs> love to I see you play it <laughs> I'd what love to sit so there laughing at you playing the game while I'm in the background. <laughs> it would be like <laughs> a bunch of screams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just demons jumping at you and Kiwi screaming. <laughs> Even though she's playing like one of the most badass characters in gaming history. <laughs> what I've learned about Doom Eternal is aliens. <laughs> it's very fast and very bloody and um, Max really likes it. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Well, yeah, Max likes good games. Well, except for Genshin. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see some more, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's gonna do it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one.